Hey guys, Super Tentbuff here, and I'm here for another Xco tutorial for you today. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering one of my previous tutorials, and this is going to be talking about UI alert views. Now, um, if we go back probably, I don't know, a few months ago or something, I made a tutorial on how to implement a simple little UI alert view, and all that UI alert view did was display a title, a message, and a dismiss button. And as I said at the end of that video, I would make another video um, showing you how to add multiple buttons with different actions to your UI alert view. So basically what I've decided to do is just remake this entire tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a UI alert view to your iOS application. And then if you also want to, I'll then show you um, how to add multiple buttons to your UI alert view. And then I'll also show you how you can add a certain action to each button of your UI alert view. So let's open up Xcode and we're going to start a new project. I'm going to use a single view application. Um, just a note here, I'm using the iOS 5 um, SDK here. Um, now, if you're on the iOS 4 SDK or older, it would actually, the equivalent of what I'm about to select is going to be a view based application. So I'm going to select that and I'm just going to and I put uh, alert view as the name, save as an iPhone and save on my desktop, very good. Alright, so a UI alert view is actually a really simple uh, thing to implement into your iPhone application. It doesn't require any kind of framework, the code's really easy to learn and use, um, and it's very useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into our viewcontroller.h file, and we're just going to make an IB outlet and a IB action. So if we just open and close a two curly brackets here, and in between these two curly brackets, we're going to initialize our IB outlet. So IB outlet space star. Oh no, sorry, uh, go back. Um, IB outlet space UI alert view space star, and then we're going to give our alert view a name. So I'm just going to call it alert. Very good. Semicolon save. Now we're going to make an IB action, and what this IB action will do is it will connect to a round rec button. So when we press the button, our alert view should pop up. So IB action, and I'm just going to call this um, alert button, semicolon save. Now let's copy and paste our IB action into our viewcontroller.m file. And open and close two curly brackets. And now in between the two curly brackets, we're going to type in the code for the alert. And this will give us options to add a title to our alert. It will also give us options to add a message to our alert, a dismiss button, and additional uh, options if we want to as well, which I will, of course, cover in this tutorial. So now we're going to type in the name of our alert view. So in my case, I put it as um, alert. So just type that. So alert space equals space, open two square brackets, UI alert view, space a lock, close square brackets, space, init, init with title, colon, and then at sign and open and close a quotation mark. And in between these quotation marks, we're going to be typing the name, oops, sorry about this, we're going to be typing the name of or the title of our UI alert view. So I'm just going to type it as test alert, whatever you can give it, whatever title you want. Okay. After the closing quotation mark, put a space and then put message, colon, um, put an at sign and open and close two quotation marks. And in between our quotation marks will be where we put the message of our UI alert view. So I'm just going to put this is a alert view. Very well. After the closing quotation mark, put a space and type in delegate, colon, self. And then the next bit is cancel button title. So uh, most alert views, most people will either use OK or dismiss. Um, depends what you're really asking in your alert view, but I'm just going to put dismiss. Very good. And then the next option along, if I just delete this and type this myself, it's a better idea. So then put other button titles mm. 
at and then open and close a quotation mark and now this is where we can add additional buttons to our UI alert view so I'm gonna add another button and what this button will do it will take us to let's say the Apple website so let's just do that so I'm gonna type type the name Apple here now if you want to add now okay basically here we can just leave it if we want to and close our alert view or we can add more buttons so I would probably recommend a maximum of three or four buttons because remember if you if your application is also going to support landscape orientation then probably no more than three buttons is really advised um, as your UI alert view will look a bit kind of jammed up if you see what I mean and the the little message won't appear up very well you have to scroll through that so it won't look very good so I recommend a maximum of three buttons you know two or three buttons per alert view is more than enough really so anyway here we're gonna put so if we want to add more than one extra button we would put a after the closing quotation mark we we'll put a comma space then we'll add another at sign and add two quotation marks again and now we can type in the name of our of the other button we want to add in so this is going to be this is going to take us to the Google website so I'm just going to type in Google there we go now you can do we can repeat this process and add another button if you so wish to but if you don't want to just put comma space nil close the quotation mark and or close the uh, uh, square um, mark and sorry I forgot the name about that um, what was the name <laughs> how could I forget the name it's a bit odd um, close the square brackets that's what I meant sorry about that and then put a semicolon save that now I'll come underneath that and open square brackets name of our alert so alert space show close square brackets semicolon save and then come down line open square brackets alert space release and just save that and ooh, here we go release is unavailable all right just get rid of this release I was thinking about the older SDK sorry about that delete the breakpoint and we're fine save that so that should be fine so now we've basically made an alert view which basically has a title saying test alert it comes up with a message underneath the title saying this is an alert view it has a dismiss button to cancel the alert view and it has two additional buttons above the dismiss button called Apple and Google so basically we've added a title we've added um, the dismiss button and so on and extra buttons but now we actually need to tell the or tell Xcode really what to do um, when we press these buttons so just going to type in this code underneath our closing uh, uh, damn it, bracket uh, underneath, underneath our closing curly bracket sorry so type in open brackets void close brackets alert view colon open brackets UI alert view space star close brackets alert view space clicked button at index and then type in this code now after the closing bracket and after the button index we're gonna open and close uh, to curly brackets and now in between these curly brackets we're gonna type in a simple little if statement um, for each of our buttons so if open brackets button index space equal equal one close brackets and now open and close another another a pair of curly brackets and now in between these curly brackets basically what we're going to type in is the code for the very first button so in this case when the apple buttons pressed because this button is equal to one when this button's pressed then code here then this code here in green as you can see will be activated so let's just type that code there so i'm just basically going to add some simple little bit of code for the demonstration of this tutorial um, which will basically launch the Apple website so I'm just going to quickly type that in give me a sec Share application space open URL MS URL string And I'm in the UK, so I'm just going to put the UK address. But obviously, it doesn't matter. Um, 
well it does, but whatever. Let's click on save that. So there we have it. Um, so here is our UI alert view. So basically, we have an alert view with this title, this message, and this miss button, and these two buttons. And now here we've got a code for the very first button. So when the Apple button is pressed, this code will be used. So this action will take place. So in this case, the Apple website would launch. So now we've only added the code for the very first button. What about our second button, which is Google? Well, we just simply repeat this if statement. So we copy and paste that down there. And instead of one, we just change that to two. So obviously this code would now apply to the second button, which is the Google button. And now we can just change the code here according to what we want the second button to do. So in my case, I just want it to load the Google uh, UK page. So save that. So now we're all done in the code. Let's come into our view controller.xib and add a simple button which will uh, launch the UI alert view. So I'm just going to select the files owner and make sure that's selected. Obviously before that we need to drag in our button, so I'm going to use a round rec button. I'm going to call this alert. And now once again click on our files owner and connect the alert button under the received actions tab to our round rec button and select touch up inside and save that. Well if we've done everything correctly now that we run the application I don't see why it shouldn't work and it says build succeeded, no issues, so that's all good. Let's run this application, see if it works. So click the alert button. There we go, there is our UI alert view. It has our title, the message, a dismiss button, which will dismiss the alert, and two buttons, in my case, Apple and Google. So let's click on the Apple button. This will take us to Safari. And as you can see, it's doing what I told it to. In this case, it's loading the Apple website. So there we have it guys, that is how you can make a UI alert view in your iOS application. This will work on all iPhones, iPod Touch and of course the iPad. And yeah, this is how you can make a UI alert view with a title, a message and multiple buttons which have separate actions. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's helped. If it has helped, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch my other videos, um, that would be great. And um, until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.